So guys, I'm in Levin Gym again. Uh, one of the fans of the page recommended I try Shake Bay. Uh, it's just started raining as well, funnily enough. So yeah, I'm just going to go to Shake Bay, give it a try, and give you my thoughts. So I'm up two minutes away, so I'll catch up with you on the video whilst I'm in there. Some of the so I've gone for a chicken burger meal there and a royal smash. That sounds amazing. So here we are at Shakeby. We've got what's this one called? Chicken burger meal. So that's your standard chicken burger. I've got it with a spicy variant with mayo and cheese in there. And we've got their smash burger. Whoa, look at that. Literally falling apart, I've been touching it. Okay, very excited to try that one. And obviously, I've got the iron brew standard. And honestly, the smell is coming away from that. I was going to cut the video then, but wow, the waft coming from that. So here we go, guys. Shake these. Now, I'll just crack both of these open. Um, but I'm going to say, the one that's going to steal the show, I think, is going to be this Smash Burger. Uh, the smells coming off this are unreal. So let me get this right for the video. The Smash Burger is 5.49. Uh, because I've had to wait, as there's been a lot of traffic. Um, he's doubled it up because I've had, a, I've had to wait for about 20 minutes or so whilst I'm inside here. So, yes, there is an extra pint in there for free, but it's as an apology for waiting so long. So, I can hold to this. Let's give it a whirl. Looks like quite a handful. Just trying to show you. That is one meaty looking burger. It's good a well. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. That is a good burger. As you imagine being a smash burger, it's quite messy. Yeah. But there's a multitude of flavours in there. So it's got like their take on a Big Mac sauce. It's really nice. The beef itself just sort of falls apart in your mouth. It sort of melts as soon as it touches your lips. And it's not a cheap beef. It's got a lot of depth to that flavour. There's obviously a bit of salt and pepper in there which comes through a little bit. But together it's amazing. Really good. We've got a bit to get through, so I'm not going to eat all of that just yet. I'll come back to that and save some space. So, we'll try some of these chips, which have got a slight dusting of paprika. Yeah, like paprika, it's not very, very salt or anything. Decent. I mean, the fries, I won't write poetry about it, but they're cooked well, nice and crispy. Nice and fluffy on the inside. I don't think I'm going to focus on that at all. Maybe. And like somewhere else that I'm going to mention, we've got like a mayo and 
chilli sauce mixture. Can't fault that. By default on like all the kebabs and stuff, I, know, I normally order either yogurt sauce and chilli sauce or a mayo and chilli sauce mixture, so I approve of that. Someone else has obviously got my taste buds. Next up. It's this bad boy. Oh, that is a big, big fillet. Bit of a handful. Let's show that to the camera. The size of that. How are you with that? See you later. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Massive piece of chicken. Okay, so I've got this spice there. I know. Definitely got a bit of a kick to it. I didn't really get much of a chicken from that first bite. I kind of bit around it. Okay. So that chicken is a tiny bit crunchy. It's cooked to perfection. In terms of taste, can't fault that at all. Really dense meat. It's only got the light sort of bit of crisp to it. The bread, it's not stodgy in anywhere. It's holding it all together despite how, how juicy it is. Let's get another bite. The cross section. Mm. So that's a really nice chicken burger as well. I said there's only a slight crunch to that. The chicken's amazing. It's nice and thick. It's not overly crunchy, which would distract away from um, the rest of the burger. You don't want to bite into a burger and it'd be crunchy on the inside. I'm not really a fan of that. That's nice and soft, along with the slightest bit of a crunch. Um, for a price of, what was that? Four forty-nine for the burger itself. Can't really afford that, to be fair. So in terms of ratings, it's not so easy. So this one. It's 5 49 for that burger. That is up there with one of the nicest burgers I've probably ever had. Period. You know what? I'm going to give that a 9. That's a comfortable 9 for me. Definitely one of the best ones I've ever had. Um, chicken burger. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. It's just not in the same tier as that, that smash burger. The chicken burger, I think I'm going to give 8.5. Um, I'm not going to rate the fries because the fries, it's like a salad, you can't really get it wrong. And, uh, yeah, bonus points for Ember. So I'm going to wrap this video up here and try and finish the rest of it. This is the third place that I visited today, so I've got quite a challenge ahead of me of trying to get rid of all of this. Alright guys, so that was Shake B in Levin's Uh Everything was super, super nice in all honesty. Um, let's start with beef burger. Uh, it's like an American style. It's a basic burger, don't get me wrong. But everything they do, they did spot on. Um, the taste of the texture was amazing. Um, the beef itself just crumbles in your mouth. Burst of beefy flavour, not over the top. I'd give that a nine for sure. Um, the chicken burger, more of the same. Quite spicy sauce uh, for like a conventional chicken burger anyway. Um, but also really, really, really nice. None of the bread was stodgy. Um, mayonnaise, 
complemented the, the hot sauce really well. So that was probably an 8.5 from me. I'll probably go as far as, let me set the camera up. I'd probably go as far as saying, I'll repeat that again. I'll go as far as saying that's probably one of the nicest beef burgers that I've ever had, in all honesty. As well as the chicken burger, in fact. Um, I tried another place recently where I probably would have ranked that as my favorite chicken burger. I'd probably say that one tops it now, to be honest. So yeah, I also managed to try a milkshake from there. Uh, didn't review it. Uh, they gave me free for, for free uh, due to the delay for waiting because it's so busy. But again, the, the milkshake was fine as well. So yeah, shake B, the hype's real. So yeah, I'll wrap the video up here. I'll see you on the next one.